This video will walk you through the basic operations for your first time using the SignalFire AI5 Fiber Splicer. First, open the SignalFire AI5 Toolkit and check the included accessories in order. Button Overview Power Button X or Y Screen Button Continue Button Reset Button Illumination Button Battery Eject Button Press and hold the power button to turn it on. For first time use, please download Signal Fire 2 from the Google Play Store or Apple App Store. Open the app, grant the necessary permissions no pairing required, and simply tap the device number to connect via Bluetooth. Once connected, click Discharge Calibration to adjust the splicing power for the current working environment, ensuring optimal fusion results. Continue Please until the app confirms discharge calibration Our successful. Our calibration in process. Please wait. Our calibration in process. Please wait. Our calibration succeed. Fusion splicing process. Step 1. Slide on the heat shrink sleeve first. Stripping process. Drop cable fibers. Use stripping pliers to remove the outer jacket. Then use a three-hole miller tool to scrape off the coating layer. Patch cords or pigtails. Strip the outer jacket using the largest notch on the miller tool. Cut off the Kevlar fibers with scissors. Remove the inner jacket with the medium notch. Finally, use the smallest notch to scrape off the coating layer. Fiber cleaning. Wipe the fiber with 95% alcohol prep pads to ensure optimal splicing performance. Fiber cleaving. For optical cables or bare fibers, place the stripped coating section within 15 millimeters of the clamp ruler. Ensure the fiber tip extends past the right side fiber clamp plate. For drop cable fibers, press the fiber jacket firmly against the clamp stopper. Extend the fiber tip past the right side clamp plate. For patch cords pigtails, position the white inner core within 15 millimeters of the ruler. Let the fiber tip protrude beyond the right clamp plate. Close the lid, push the blade holder outward to complete cleaving. Fiber placement guidelines. The fiber coating must not extend beyond the clamps. The stripped fiber end must protrude past the V-groove, position as close as possible to the electrodes. Never let the fiber extend beyond the electrode tips. Close the windproof cover to start automatic splicing. The system will automatically detect the end face angle. Upon successful splicing, the estimated loss will be displayed. Heat shrink reinforcement. Center the splice point in the heat shrink tube. The indicator light will turn on. Initiate 18 second rapid heating. Winter tip, enable preheating to reduce total heating time. Heating completes when the indicator light turns off. 5200 mAh high capacity lithium battery with dual charging options. APP features overview. Language selection. Supports multiple languages, English, Spanish, etc. Splicing settings, enable or disable splicer menu options and adjust parameters. Record access, export and upload splicing records. Tutorial guide, step-by-step -step instructions for using the splicer. System updates, remotely upgrade the splicer system to maintain peak performance.